The First Coast's most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by WeatherRate, sponsored by AC Designs. Right, you know, a jog to a little to the east, a little to the west. In fact, at our 11 a.m. update, we got that push uh, on our centerline track within the cone just a bit. I mean, we're talking 20, 30 miles, according to the National Hurricane Center, to the east, back towards uh, the uh, larger portion of the Big Bend. Doesn't make too much of a difference for us in terms of our local impacts. What it would make a difference for, and the communities it makes a difference for, are folks who are just a little to the west side, to the left side of the storm. You're on the, the condition so much better, exponentially better, if you're over on this side of uh, the storm uh, compared to what's going to be happening for folks just on the east side talking within that 50 to 60 mile range of the very center of this storm. Now remember anywhere within the cone, but the cone's getting tight, isn't it? That's growing confidence. The tighter this cone gets, the more confidence that the forecasting is getting. The National Hurricane Center is getting that somewhere within this area is where the center of that eye wall is going to cross and make landfall tonight. And it looks like uh, eight o'clock still a little offshore. The current uh, Hurricane Center update at 11 o'clock slowed it down just a bit. So we're talking about official landfall probably around 930 or 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, they're very near Perry, Florida, and we're talking 20 foot storm surge here along the Big Bend, and, and it's going to fill up uh, the estuaries and some of those rivers, Suwannee River that opens up into the Gulf of Mexico. Kind of a closer look at what we're talking about. Here's Perry, and being on this edge of the system is, um, is going to be very unfortunate, and it's going to be devastating here along these communities. Tallahassee, uh, right there underneath some of those gusty winds, so they're going to get Category 2, 3 forced uh, conditions as this thing, of course, right as it hits land, begins to weaken and really begins to pick up for momentum, but an impressive looking system on satellite. But now we're getting an impressive looking system on radar. And what that means is getting close enough to land now where the radar sites around the coastal uh, areas of Florida are able to actually pick up all sides of the center of circulation of this eye. So we're seeing those bands begin to feed up and in to northeast Florida. In fact, the storm now just moving out of Stark up and towards I-10. But this lone band that we see just off of uh, the coast right now, any of these cells that move on shore could certainly create a tornado while we're in a tornado watch right now and for the rest of our day. So much more coming up here on First Coast News.